was um, I got a Mac Buffalo eight piece boneless wing Korean sticky wings. Never tried that, but I'm pretty sure I like it. With the ranch because we don't do blue cheese over here. So, and then I got some fries, herb parmesan, and some lemonade because, like, why not? I've never bought from here, so the place is called Melt Shop. And let's see what it's about. No ketchup like this, but all right, right? Damn, it's hot outside. So, this is the lemonade. I don't really got my taste buds all the way back, but I can taste a little. Don't, don't rush me. 
is coming like before the fall, during the fall vibes, you feel me? So make sure y'all stay tuned. If y'all don't got me on the gram, follow me on the gram. If y'all don't have Killer Coach on the gram, make sure y'all go follow Killer Coach on the gram. To eat and talk at the same time is so hard. Like, I don't know why I put so much on this. I know, this is so good, I think. I hope, I hope I don't end up fucking you already know, you already know. I might just finish half of this and move on to this though. No cap, cause I'm gonna try that. This is the last bite. Facts, facts. Two hours later. That's that for that. I'm focused on my business. I don't really want to like, I don't want to worry about things that are stressing me out. I don't want to do any unnecessary activities. Like, it's fun to go out with my friends and drinks and hookah and vibe out and chill, tunes, all that. But like, I don't always got to do that because when you got shit going on and you got priorities, you got to handle your business first. And if you really want that shit to succeed, you got to put that shit at the very, very top of the list. Like, your top priority is you, but what makes you money is right under you. Remember that always because nothing should really be over you. Like you should be your top priority. Always, forever, now, later, then, past, future, present, whatever. She's got a point. I graduated with my bachelor's a year ago and now I'm starting my own business. This is always something, well, this is something I've always wanted. So it's coming. COVID kind of like sent me back, but a setback ain't enough for you, feel me? Like keep it stepping. You gotta make shit happen no matter what. No matter what, because I, that's why I always be like, I don't make long-term goals because you never know what's gonna happen in life. Covid came out of nowhere. Nobody even was like, nobody even saw it coming, except for the people who knew it was coming. You feel me? Like I didn't. So I'm putting myself first. That's more of the story. So I'm not dealing with no BS. I'm got time for that shit. Um, who's for me is gonna be for me, and my business is growing. Well, starting. It's like baby steps. I would say it's like crawling right now. It's not walking yet. It's crawling. But everything has a process. So you gotta crawl to walk. And you gotta walk to run. You can't just crawl and run. Cause then guess what? You probably break a leg. And when you break a leg, the chances of you breaking your leg again, it's kinda high. You feel me? Besides dating and business, you feel me? I have like some trips I wanna go on. I wanna do a road trip. I'm planning a road trip. It might not, it might happen in August. It might not, it might get pushed back because you wanna plan things like that correctly. You don't wanna get stuck in the middle of Nebraska and people acting like they don't see you and shit out there. It tastes like, I don't even know what to explain it. Cause this is something I still can't taste. Like when it comes to meat, certain sauces like this is a sweet sauce so it's like it's not strong enough yet my senses aren't there yet to taste sweeter things unless it's like very very sweet like well this was kind of sour i'm gassing it it was sweet and very sour but you get the point i want to take a road trip but like from the east coast to the west coast i've always wanted to do that I just feel like there's a lot of places that people don't get to see. And also, there's caves, there's like animals, there's historical places. I mean, I guess I'll be a tourist, might as well. From New York, I always see y'all, now I could be one. I think it was Iowa. I might be lying, it might not have been Iowa. There's like, you could go riding camels. It doesn't make no sense as to how, or even why camels are in Iowa. But y'all know I don't like being with too many people. I don't do that whole group. More than three is too much for me. More than three is too much for me. It's too much. I like doing two or three. Three is because we got an extra person. Two is because I'm good with two. You feel me like a pair is perfect. You don't gotta worry about yourself. They don't gotta worry about themselves. And y'all both want this. That's easy. Easiest way to do a trip. If not, the most easiest way to do a trip is by yourself, but 
stuff like that you can't do by yourself, you know? And I only say that because I feel like everybody that I know that has gone on a group trip this year, friendships have been killed. Like, after the trip, there's been a friendship gone. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm already full. I barely even ate anything. This is why I don't eat out. Because I drink everything, but I don't eat. So two people is always best, and three is just for a little more fun. Another trip advice I also be giving people is like, sometimes it just be better to do like all girls or all guys, where the guys do their thing and the girls do their thing because it's just, it just works out better. I, something about the way girls are on trips and something about the way guys are on trips. So I know y'all wanna see me do like collabs and stuff like that, but I'm honestly a loner. I like being alone. If I do collabs though, this is the thing, like I wanna do collabs with people that the vibes are good because it's gonna create authentic. Y'all gonna see the collabs. Mm.